Hi YouTube, it's uh, in Amiga 4 again with the, the Samsung Galaxy S2. Um, what I'm going to show you in this video is how to change the, the boot animation of when you turn on the device. Um, so I'm just going to switch this on just to show you um, what it currently has. And then uh, we'll go through the steps of changing the boot animation to um, the ice cream sandwich boot animation. Just so that it's, it's a little bit different. See the square, that's the animation there, the S. Okay, so that's what we're going to be changing. And essentially, uh, what, what needs to be done is um, we're going to be downloading a file. I'll put a link in the description for that so you'll know uh, where to get that from. Oh, whoops, I wasn't taking it, so just try again. So what we're essentially going to be doing is um, put in a file that we download into a specific folder on the phone and then reboot the phone and it'll just pick up the animation from there. It's going to be a zip file. Again, uh, as I said, I'm going to put a, a description or a link in the description of where you can download that from. And then uh, in this example, yeah, it's going to be the ice cream sandwich uh, boot up animation, but you can change it to, uh, there are quite a few different ones out there, just Google. Uh, Android boot animation and there'll be a host of them that'll come up and uh, just pick one and then just go through the same steps basically um, but in this one I'm gonna put a link in the description for okay um, so what we'll do is um, I'm just gonna plug plug this into the computer and we'll just move over to, com to the computer Okay, as you can see, the, the phone's now plugged in and I've got the autoplay window here. So I'm just going to click on that to open that up. What we're going to do is just navigate to the SD card itself so we can just put the animation file in there. I'm not going to bother putting it in a folder. Uh, I'm just going to plunk it on the SD card itself. I've got the animation file itself, which is just called bootanimation.zip with no spaces. Um, so just copy and paste that file as you download it to the SD card okay uh, as that's uh, once that's done you can X that window and remove the lead to your computer so we'll move back over to the phone now now that we've got the boot animation on the SD card itself what we need to do is use your file explorer uh, I've got um, a ES file explorer which has root access okay um, if you can't get to the root of your phone so system itself so you can see the path there just being system what you can do is once you've loaded up ES file explorer you can get it downloaded free from the marketplace uh, all you need to do is hit menu go to settings and then scroll down and you've got an uh, option there which says up to root enable up to root directory so you can see it Okay, scroll down where it says root settings, uh, you've got root explorer only, and it says only for rooted devices which means obviously you need root access in order to do this and you've got a tick next to that. Uh, so once you've got those two ticks there, hit back. Uh, what we need to do is first of all copy out the existing um, boot animations that we have in there. Um, so what we need to do is go to uh, system and then media. So we're in system already so we'll just scroll down to media and you can see there's some animations already in there called uh, battery charging and so forth so we just scroll down to the one that we says uh, boot uh, here we go at the bottom it says boot samsung and boot samsung loop um, which are obviously those animations when it boots and when it gets stuck in a loop so to copy those out of the way I'm gonna first do the boot samsung one hold it down till it says copy and then what we'll do is we'll navigate to my SD card and just put them on there for safe keeping. Uh, once we're there, I'll just plunk them on the I'll just plunk them there just for safe keeping. Um, now I'll just go back to the media one so I can copy the second one. And the other one was boot Samsung loop, so hold it down again till it says copy. And I'm just going to store it out of the way on the SD card just in case at any point I want to go back to the stock uh, animation. So paste it in there. Okay, once that's done, 
um, we copied the boot animation to the SD card so what we want to do is just uh, and there it is incidentally so I'll just hold it down hit copy now that we've copied it where what we need to do is move it to a location or copy it to a location should I say on the phone itself uh, which is a uh, backslash like you should notice that it says backslash SD card but now we need to go to backslash data backslash local um, so again um, all you should need to do is just navigate to the root of the phone so like that one I've got there just the root of the phone just go to uh, data then local from there and just to make it a little bit easier um, um, once you've got there as you can see there's local uh, all we do is bring the toolbar down by pressing the button there hit paste to put the animation in and you can see it says it's successful now all we do I'll just come all the way out and we'll reboot the phone so I'll just power that off for now and the phone will switch off it doesn't change the off animation this is only the boot on animation we'll just switch that on by holding down the power button until it switches on there you go and you can see the yellow triangle just symbolizing still rooted I haven't bothered to actually go through the process of taking it off because the chop and change the ROM so much. And there you go. And that's the ice cream sandwich boot animation on the Samsung Galaxy S2. Incidentally, I will also state uh, that when you put in the boot animation on there, just make sure that the boot animation file is called exactly that boot animation dot zip with no spaces it must be exact otherwise if you've got any numbers in there or anything other than that then it will not work it has to be the exact file name so that's boot animation dot zip okay uh, now if you want to return to stock all you simply do is go to the file explorer again um, log go to uh, data and then local as it was uh, history and all you simply do is hold down the boot animation file hit delete OK, and the next time that you boot up the, the phone itself, uh, it will be the standard boot animation. So um, that's now powered off. And just wait for that to go off, and I'll just show you that when you switch it back on again, it should have the default um, standard Galaxy S2 uh, boot up animation. Um, so that's now off. I'm just going to hold down the power till the phone switches back on again, and then. Uh, just to show you that that's how easy it is, it's just one file um, which controls the boot animation so you should be able to see the standard animation in a second once that clears um, just to prove that I'm right and there you go that's a standard Galaxy S boot animation just resumes back to normal and that's how you change the boot animation to the ice cream sandwich boot up uh, animation from the Galaxy Nexus. Any questions or comments, please comment below. Um, so hit subscribe from the button up top. Um, it's free, it doesn't cost you anything, and you can check out what I'm up to every now and again. Uh, I will put the instructions in the description as well uh, as this video, as well as a link as well uh, to some other um, boot animations in the description. Um, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and goodbye.